Totem poles tell a story, whether it's the story of an indigenous people or in more modern times, someone's imagination. Either way, making them is a labor of love and true artistry. In this week's Montana Made, Justine Stewart takes us to the Bitterroot Valley where one man is bringing people's dreams to life. This is the start of what will become an intricate, colorful and magnificent work of art. George Gooley is a second generation carver whose talent for hand carved wood creations has taken his business to new heights. It all started out humbly enough, learning the trade from his father who had been a wood carver for years. When I was 26, I got to thinking, what a shame if my father, I never asked my father to really teach me, at least to know how to do it, or maybe it could work into something, maybe not. But I just saying all this knowledge that he has, what if I just never learned it? And I got to thinking, you know, this might be something I'd be good at. I'm not, you know, but I was just open to learn. So I finally went to him and says, Dad, I really want you to teach me. And it's a good thing he did. Gooley's work is so good, it's earned him an international reputation as a skilled carver. Eventually, I started to get a specialized customer. First of all, we were doing stuff that was reasonably affordable and then some special orders, but it started to get that I was getting a list of clients that wanted something special. So that kind of changed things around. Do I continue going into a volume or do I more specialize in something I really more would enjoy doing? As his focus changed, so did the product to totem poles, which are hard to miss if you're driving on Highway 93 in Victor. Hard at work in his studio, Gooley spends countless hours bringing his customers' dreams to life. I have a connection with my customers. It is a, both a memorable experience for me as them. And we really, and I'll come here, we'll be talking, and, we'll, and I really get to know them, what their interests are, the things that they really would, they have in their imagination, and they're looking for someone that could put this together. And so I'll do that for them. Which takes some time as there is a wait list, which can be anywhere from six months to a year. Less customers, but better work. Each piece is unique and you can't rush perfection. And there's a lot of things to bring beauty to art. And um, it's not just getting the detail, but it's bringing a feeling and meaning to it. Gooley says most of his work goes to resorts, wealthy property owners, and businesses, but not always. Some of it does stay local. I'll get people from the Bitterroot Valley, and they'll be maybe into their senior years, and they go, you know, I've been putting this money away, and I'm getting at the end of my life. I'm like, what am I going to do? Wait till I'm 80 years old to spend it, you know? And they go, we've always wanted one of your, you know, your, your works of art, your totem pole, and, and they get a reasonably priced totem pole. When I asked Gooley if he had any favorite pieces, he said it would be too hard to choose. He's made so many and spent so much time on each piece that they are all special. And what makes it even better is seeing his customer's reaction to the finished product. Yeah, I'm not just selling something to put in my pocket. I'm selling an experience and a moment of joy. In Victor, Justine Stewart, MTN News. And for more information on the totem poles, you can visit goalietotempoles.com.